close to Earth Day, I mean, we, we wanted to screen a film and that could engage young people because it was an important day to mark. So I engaged with Silver Lining. Um, Joshua, I'm um, at the time, was working on international strategy with Silver Lining. So Joshua recommended this film, um, you, you know, that we could screen. And um, I mean, when I first watched it, the, the film, I was totally confused uh, because typically I'm from a non-science background. I'm, I'm more of a social science um, person. And so I was totally confused. In fact, I watched the documentary for a second time and it was uh, again, very confusing. And I had to watch at that time to really understand um, um, geoengineering and the, the discussion around it and why it's important. Um, and so we filmed the screen in Ghana um, at Green Africa Youth Organization and um, we had a few panel discussion um, as part of the film screening. We had people who were working. Uh, what, we had one geomatic engineer. Uh, we had one youth rep and um, somebody who was working with the government uh, um, on geoscience. So um, in, I guess the, the first reactions from young people who were in the meetings was, okay, they didn't know um, there's, there's something called you know geoengineering and um, solar radiation modeling so for many people many young people who were in that meeting it was the first time of hearing about it it was the first time knowing anything on that on on that track and um, you know i guess from from um, some of the the feedback that i got from the young people who were there you know they were very much happy that you know at least they got to know about this thing that's happening. And it was just, just a regular filming of a ramen film, but you know, great learning coming from it and being immersed in science as well. The young people that I spoke to um, were of the position, many of them were of the position that we could explore, we should explore and we should learn more about it. Um, you know, so in the position of many young people who would virtually look for, different opportunities that exist within you know, this narrative. They were in support of it. And especially very much so because many of the young people who joined were actually students of the University of Ghana. So they were mostly looking at how we can be involved in research. So how some of them can dedicate some of their, their academic research towards you know, SRM and potential benefit. But also there were activists in the room. So many of the activists were very skeptical um, and, and, and definitely, you know, we're thinking about the potential risk that could be involved in being involved in SRM and how it could affect Africa. And given how unequal global governance is, how this could potentially play out and, you know, perhaps work against global South countries.